Prepare yourself for some much needed relief. In this urgent update, we bring you the latest information on the eagerly anticipated $2,000 stimulus checks for eligible Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries. March 25th is the day when these crucial financial lifelines will start reaching millions of deserving individuals across the nation. Amid ongoing economic challenges, this announcement couldn't in 39T come at a better time. Our video provides comprehensive coverage, offering insight into who qualifies for these payments and what steps recipients need to take to ensure they receive their funds promptly. Join us as we delve into the details of this vital economic assistance program, shedding light on how it aims to alleviate financial burdens and provide support to those most in need. From navigating the application process to understanding eligibility criteria, we and 39, they got you covered with all the essential information to help you access your stimulus payment without delay. Don and 39, T miss out on. This critical update, tune in to our video to stay informed and prepared as we count down to the arrival of the $2,000 stimulus checks on March 25th for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries. It in 39's time to ensure that every eligible individual receives the support they rightfully deserve. In recent Times, the economic landscape has been marred by uncertainty and financial strain for many Americans. Amidst these challenges, the announcement of $2,000 stimulus checks for eligible Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and Veterans Affairs, VA. Beneficiaries comes as a beacon of hope, scheduled to commence distribution on March 8. These payments aim to provide much-needed relief to individuals who have been grappling with financial difficulties exacerbated by ongoing global circumstances. The eligibility criteria for receiving the $2,000 stimulus checks are centered around individuals currently receiving benefits from Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VA. This encompasses a wide range of recipients, including retirees, disabled individuals, and veterans who have served their country. The inclusivity of these programs reflects the government and 39's commitment to supporting those most in need during these challenging times. However, it and 39 s essential for recipients to ensure they meet the eligibility requirements and have updated their information with the IRS to facilitate the smooth delivery of their stimulus payments. For recipients eager to receive their $2,000 stimulus checks on March 25th, it and 39, as crucial to navigate the process. Effectively, this involves verifying and updating personal information with the IRS, such as addresses and banking details for direct deposit. The IRS provides various channels for individuals to update their information, including online portals and dedicated helplines. By proactively engaging with these resources, recipients can mitigate potential delays and ensure a seamless delivery of their stimulus payments. Additionally, staying informed about the latest updates and guidelines from relevant authorities is essential to navigate the process efficiently. While the announcement of $2,000 stimulus checks brings much-needed relief to many individuals, it in 39s essential to address concerns and questions that may arise. Recipients may have inquiries regarding their eligibility, the application process, or the timeline for receiving their payments. Clear communication and transparency from government agencies are paramount in addressing these. Concerns and ensuring that individuals feel supported throughout the process. Additionally, community organizations and advocacy groups can play a vital role in disseminating accurate information and assisting individuals in navigating the complexities of stimulus payment. Distribution. The distribution of $2,000 stimulus checks to Social Security, SSI, SSDI, 
and VA recipients. Holds significant implications for individuals and communities across the nation. For many recipients, these payments represent a lifeline providing essential financial support during times of uncertainty and hardship. The injection of funds into the economy can stimulate spending, bolstering local businesses, and contributing to economic recovery efforts. Moreover, the provision of direct assistance to vulnerable populations underscores the government and 39's commitment to equity and social welfare, reinforcing the importance of inclusive policy measures in times of crisis. As the distribution of $2,000 stimulus checks approaches, it and 39's essential for recipients to prepare for the future. Beyond immediate financial relief, this includes budgeting effectively, prioritizing essential expenses, and exploring additional resources and support available within their communities. Financial literacy initiatives can empower individuals to make informed decisions about managing their finances and planning for long term stability. Furthermore, advocating for systemic reforms and policies that address underlying economic Inequalities can help mitigate the need for emergency assistance programs in the future, fostering resilience and sustainability within society. Time is running out, the IRS is urging Americans to take action before it and 39, s too late. If you haven in 39, t claimed your recovery rebates worth up to $14, you could be missing out on vital financial assistance. The Internal Revenue Service has issued a stern warning. Claim your rebate payment. Now, as the deadline is fast approaching, this money, designed to aid residents during the peak of the coronavirus pandemic, is set to expire soon. Time is of the essence. We urge all eligible individuals to act quickly. Don and 39T miss out on this opportunity to secure the financial support you deserve. The recovery rebate. Credit is specifically for those Americans who did not receive the economic impact payment, commonly known as stimulus checks, in 2020 or 2021. Even if you had little to no income during those years, you could still be eligible for this credit. The deadline to claim the 2020 rebate credit is May 17, 2024. However, for the 2021 rebate credit, you have until April 15, 2025. Federal law mandates that taxpayers have a three-year window to claim a refund owed to them. Don and 39T. Let your money go unclaimed, check your records, and if you did in and 39T file taxes in 2020, take action now to ensure you receive what and 39S rightfully yours. According to a recent release from the IRS, potential tax refunds for the 2020 tax year will no longer be available after May 17. The IRS plans to release more detailed state-by-state -state information soon to assist taxpayers who may have overlooked filing for a refund. To qualify for the credit, after filing 2020 taxes, individuals must have been U.S. citizens or resident aliens during the tax year and not claimed as dependents on another. Taxpayer and 39's filing. Additionally, filers must have a valid social security number by the May 17, 2024. Deadline. It and 39's important to note that individuals can also claim the credit on behalf of someone who passed away. In 2020 or later years. The credit amount per person varies based on factors such as income, dependents, and other information provided in the filing. While there and 39s no fixed amount for everyone. Filers with dependents on their 2020 or 2021 tax return may receive an additional $1,400 payment for each person with a valid social security number. And here in 39s some good news. Claiming a refund through this credit 1 and 39T result in any penalties, even if your tax return was filed late. In these challenging times, families facing financial difficulties can find 
Some relief through a recent state tax credit program established by the Oregon legislature in 2023. The child tax credit aims to provide low income families with much needed financial support. Oregonians living with young dependent children are eligible for this refundable credit, similar to the Federal Earned Income Tax Credit, EITC, combined. These credits can significantly boost tax refunds. Potentially exceeding $13,000 for the 2023 tax year. Individuals with an adjusted gross income of up to $3,398 may qualify for the EITC. To be eligible for the Oregon Child Tax Credit, residents must meet certain criteria, including residing in Oregon, having dependent. The anticipation surrounding the arrival of Social Security benefits in March extends far beyond mere financial relief. It embodies a profound sense of reassurance and stability for millions of Americans. 4. Older adults, individuals with disabilities, and survivors. These benefits are not just a source of income. They are a vital lifeline that provides a semblance of security amidst the uncertainties of life. The structured payment schedule meticulously crafted by the Social Security Administration is a testament to the compassionate consideration given to the diverse needs of recipients. By dispersing payments throughout the month based on birth dates, the administration ensures that assistance. Reaches individuals precisely when they need it most. This approach acknowledges the multifaceted circumstances of beneficiaries and strives to provide equitable access to essential financial support. For those born between the one stone and the 10 th of the month, the arrival of Social Security benefits on March 25 th serves as a beacon of hope, signaling the beginning of a new month with renewed financial resources. Similarly, beneficiaries born between the 20 th experience a profound sense of relief on March 20 th as they receive their payments, enabling them to address pressing expenses and plan for the weeks ahead. Meanwhile, individuals born after the 21 stone eagerly anticipate March 27 th when their checks are scheduled for distribution, completing the cycle of assistance for all eligible recipients with. Unwavering inclusivity. At the heart of the March 2024 payments lies the cost of living adjustment, COLA, a critical mechanism designed to ensure that Social Security benefits remain responsive to the economic realities faced by beneficiaries. This year and 39, S COLA increase reflects a proactive approach aimed at mitigating the impact of inflation on individuals and 39, purchasing power. With the maximum COLA amount set at $4,873 and the average payment amounting to $197, beneficiaries can expect tangible relief that helps offset the rising costs of living, providing a lifeline against economic uncertainties. Yet, Social Security benefits encompass far more than just financial assistance, they symbolize a fundamental commitment to the well being and dignity of recipients. These payments enable individuals to meet basic needs such as housing, food, and health care, fostering a profound sense of stability and security in their lives. Moreover, they reinforce the social contract between government and citizens, affirming the principle that every individual deserves access to essential resources for a dignified standard of living. The structured distribution schedule and COLA adjustment underscored the government and 39's unwavering dedication to equity and inclusivity within the social security system. By prioritizing prompt payment and adjusting benefits to reflect changes in the cost of living, policymakers demonstrate an enduring commitment to uplifting vulnerable populations and promoting economic security for all Americans. Irrespective of age, ability, or circumstance, Congress is currently facing the daunting task of balancing the government and 39's spending budget while ensuring the continued funding of critical programs such as Social Security and Medicare. With financial 
Challenges looming large, lawmakers have taken a significant step by passing a bill aimed at establishing a commission tasked with finding viable solutions. However, amidst this endeavor, there arises a contentious debate, particularly among Democrats, who have labeled the proposed commission as the and quat, cut Social Security Commission, and quat. The apprehensions surrounding the Commission and 39's potential impact on Social Security stem from concerns about possible cuts or alterations to the program, which serves as a vital safety net for millions of Americans, especially retirees and individuals with disabilities. Representative Lloyd Doggett, a staunch advocate for social welfare programs, voiced these concerns, stating, and quat, there is a real concern. Out there, that this commission will be called the N39, Cut Social Security Commission, N39, and Quad. Such sentiments underscore the deep seated anxieties among lawmakers and the public regarding the future of Social Security amid fiscal constraints and political negotiations. For many, Social Security represents not just a financial lifeline but a fundamental aspect of social protection and intergenerational equity. However, amidst the apprehensions, there are voices advocating for a more nuanced perspective. Democrat Scott Peters from California, for instance, sees the establishment of the commission as a potential starting point for addressing complex fiscal challenges. Peters emphasized, and quat, this is a way to get started, and quat, reflecting a sentiment shared by some who view the commission as an opportunity for constructive dialogue and proactive problem-solving. The debate surrounding the Commission and 39's mandate and potential outcomes reflects broader ideological divides within Congress and society at large. On one hand, there and 39's a pressing need to address budgetary concerns and ensure the long-term sustainability of social welfare programs. On the other hand, there and 39's a commitment to safeguarding the well-being of vulnerable populations and preserving the social safety net. As lawmakers navigate these complexities, the stakes remain high, with millions of Americans depending on Social Security and Medicare for their financial security and health care needs. Balancing Fiscal responsibility with social protection presents a formidable challenge, requiring careful deliberation, bipartisan cooperation, and a steadfast commitment to upholding the values of equity and compassion. In the coming months, the work of the Commission is likely to draw intense scrutiny and debate as it grapples with finding solutions that strike a delicate balance between fiscal prudence and social responsibility. Ultimately, the decisions made regarding Social Security and Medicare will not only shape the future of these programs but also reflect the priorities and values of the nation as a whole. As reported by Yahoo, if you and 39, re already receiving social security payments and working part-time, there are strategies you can employ to mitigate the impact of a lower cost of living adjustment, COLA, and maintain financial stability. One such strategy involves exploring remote job opportunities and freelance employment in addition to local alternatives. Embracing flexible work arrangements not only offers greater freedom and autonomy but also provides avenues for supplemental income to bolster your financial situation. However, it in 39, it's essential to be mindful of the potential consequences of additional income on your social security benefits. Depending on your earnings, part of your social security payment may become taxable, or the new income may trigger a reduction in your benefit amount. Understanding the implications of earning additional income while receiving Social Security benefits can help you make informed decisions about your employment options. Alternatively, you may choose to delay filing for Social Security benefits and continue working if you and 39, re. Still considering retirement. For example, instead of applying for benefits at age 62, you might opt to 
Wait until you reach the full retirement age, which typically ranges from 66 to 67, depending on your birth year. While this decision doesn't in 39T directly affect COLAs, it can safeguard you from potential reductions in benefits associated with early retirement. Delaying Social Security benefits allows you to maximize your eventual benefit amount as benefits. Increase for each year you delay claiming them beyond full retirement age, up to age 70. By postponing.